crazy. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, Want to take us to Andrew? Yeah. So um, just listen to your discussion about air tags. Apple said not to put an air tag on pets. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've had one of my dogs since they came out, and it has come to the rescue several times. I picked up a silicon holder for it from Amazon for five bucks, and that attaches easily to the dog's collar. It doesn't bother him. He goes in the surf every day with it. Um, and when he goes off the reservation, he gets caught. Um, he's in Australia, so that's why he said bollocks. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's waterproof. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know, the thing is, I couldn't find anything specifically prohibiting the use of an air tag to track people or pets on their webpage. I did find this snippet from an interview with Cayenne Drantz, Apple's VP of Worldwide iPhone Product Marketing. Uh, it's an article at Fast Company. Uh, how Apple designed air tags to be privacy first and stalker proof. And I found this um, uh, paragraph. Uh, uh, when I asked Drantz about parents using air tags to track their small children, such as during an outing at an amusement park, or pets, we know you're up to something shady, Fluffy. She was quick to stress that the company designed the air tag to track items, not people or pets. If parents would like to safely track their young children, she suggests an Apple Watch with family setup might be a better choice. And makes them more money, right? Mm, right. <laughs> um, uh, but from what I've seen, Dave, the Find My Network is pretty darn good. Yeah. So, um, so while for a child, Apple Watch may be a better choice, I don't think Fido would benefit for one versus an air tag. <laughs> uh Andrew sent in a couple of pictures of uh his uh, dog collar air tag holder thing and so I found something on Amazon that matches that and we'll uh and we'll put a link in the show notes to uh to that for us 